Hello, I'm Roberta Shaw from the Royal Ontario Museum, and I'm here in Egypt to tell you the story of the Rom's bust of Cleopatra. Here I am standing on the site of the ancient lighthouse of Alexandria in Egypt. Behind me across the water was where Cleopatra's palace complex was situated. It is now underwater, and it is from this area that the Rom statue of Cleopatra very likely originated. The Rom statue of Cleopatra was purchased by the Rom's founder, C.T. Corelli, while he was working in Egypt almost a hundred years ago. It is most likely that it came from the Great Palace area, which is situated behind me on the other side of this harbor. The statue probably stood outside some important municipal building, perhaps a temple, perhaps even the famous Alexandrian Library. Recent research has suggested that the Rom statue of Cleopatra forms a part of a pair. Our Cleopatra is dressed as an Egyptian queen, while the sister statue that resides here in Alexandria is dressed as a goddess. Another interesting feature of this statue is the back pillar, which continues up the back and into the crown. There are only two other statues with this particular feature, and both of those have been identified as Cleopatra. What we have with the Rom statue, then, is a very early Cleopatra. The facial features are an idealized version of a very young queen beginning to assert her power over the whole country of Egypt. So, after a hundred years, we are able to say that the Rom possesses a statue of the great Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs>